Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber and you want to be a part of the AJ Mobile Money Nation, click the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really going to like this video, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I post a video. In this video, I will take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to purchase stocks, bonds, or ETFs using the M1 Finance app. For those who don't know, M1 Finance is an investing app which allows you to buy stocks with no commission fees. You can buy groups of stocks all at once within what is called a pie, and you can also buy fractional or partial shares of the investments you choose. If you're not familiar with fractional share investing, I have a video explaining this concept, including a list of all the platforms you can use to buy fractional shares. Okay, let's get started. In this video, I'm using the Android version of M1 Finance's app, so there may be a slight difference on iOS devices, Apple iPhones. After you've created your account, you've made your initial deposit, and you have the app installed, you can start by opening the app on your phone, enter your password, then click on the research tab at the bottom right. Um, from what you can see here, I already have a portfolio created, but I'm gonna show you how to create one in this video. So once you click on the research tab, from there you can click on the menu at the top left, and then you can select My Pies. Then you can click the plus sign at the top right, and then the plus sign in the middle to start building your pie. Now a pie is just M1 Finance's way of saying you're creating a group of stocks, which can include individual stocks, bonds, ETFs, or funds created directly by M1 Finance. On this page, you'll see several options to start creating your pie. You have the stocks, funds, expert pies, watch list, and my pie section all at the top. On the stocks tab, you will see a list of the top 30 stocks in order based on their market cap, which stands for market capitalization, which is just the total value of the company based on the share price times the number of available shares in the company. From here, you can either select from the list or use the search bar to search for a company you're interested in investing. Let's start with a company that's been in the news a lot lately, Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat is a company which makes plant-based meat replacements which look, feel, and taste like you know the real thing. You can search by typing in the company name or the ticker symbol if you already know it. So the ticker symbol for Beyond Meat is B-Y-N-D. After selecting the stock you want, click the plus symbol and it will be included in the pie that you are creating. Next, let's check the funds tab. From here, you can search the fund you want by ticker name or the actual name of the fund, just like you can with the stocks. I like using Vanguard funds since they typically have the lowest expense ratio. So let's search Vanguard total stock market. And we're going to select that as well as the total bond market. Now these two ETFs hold all publicly available stocks and bonds in the United States. These are also two of the four funds included in the AJ Mobile Money Sample Roth IRA. The other two are the total international stock market and the S&P 500 ETF. I post an update of this portfolio's performance once per month on my Instagram page if you want to keep track as well as so you can see how fast just $50 a month can grow. Follow me on Instagram as I make those updates once a month. I started with $500 in a traditional IRA back in January, and I add $50 a month to this pie starting in February. In April, I switched from a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA, and I can talk about why I did that in a future video. And the purchases of the stocks within M1 Finance are set to automatically buy my selected pie without me needing to sign into the app every month to make my stock purchases. So you can automate this deposit monthly, weekly, bi-weekly, or you can pick a particular week within the month or a day of the week, like the first, the second, third, or fourth week of the month. So now that we've selected those bond funds, let's take a look at the expert pie tab as well. Now expert pies, these are created by M1 Finance. Um, they have different themes, so like this one is general investing. If you wanted to pick a very conservative fund or pie or a very aggressive, you can select it by hitting the plus sign, or you can look at them to see what they're all about. So we're going to look at the ultra conservative fund. 
And this has six holdings. It shows you the expense ratio of the, this specific fund. It shows you the dividend yield of 2.08% currently, and that's per year. So throughout the year, usually quarterly, this fund will pay you a dividend for holding that fund throughout the year. And you can see past performance. You can see that the one year return is 3%. The three-year return annualized, so the average over three years is 2% every year, and the average over five years has been 2%. Now, because this is an ultra-conservative fund, you won't get as high of a return. And as you can see, it holds a lot of different bonds. It has the one to three-year treasury bond, and usually bonds perform don't perform as well as individual stocks or funds that actually hold stocks. So that's the ultra conservative fund. And then you have the ultra aggressive. As you can see, the return for this is a little bit higher. For the past year, it's only 1.85%. For over three years, it has an annualized average return of 10%. So that's actually a 30% total gain within the past three years and an average of 7% gain over five years. So that's a 35% gain. And you can see the details of this as well. You can see what funds this specific expert pie holds. And it has a lot of developed, uh, has the Vanguard FTSE developed markets. So these are markets outside of the US. The S&P 500, which is top 500 companies within the US. And then it has small cap, mid cap, and other emerging funds as well as a real estate investment trust. So if we go back to watch list, if you select any stocks that you want to watch, I have four selected here uh, just to show as an example. You can look at your list here and then you can add from there as well. And then you can also add a pie to be included within one pie. So this is an example that I created earlier today. It has 10 holdings. The expense ratio is 0.06% and the dividend yield is 1.92%. And you can see the, the holdings within this. I have the conservative fund. I have a couple of individual stocks like Apple, Microsoft, um, another fund, moderate conservative. And then all of these together, that's what gives you that average of a 1.92% dividend. It doesn't mean that every stock is paying a dividend, but the average for the holdings, the total holdings that you have is what gives you that dividend. And so we'll go back to the stocks page and we'll finish creating this example pie with, we're just gonna choose the top 10 stocks in this list, which are based on the market cap. Again, that's the total value of the company. So we're just gonna click a plus sign for all of these until we get to 10. And then we're gonna click done. And now it'll show the 10 different stocks that we have included, which are Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Google. We have Google twice because they have two separate ticker symbols, Facebook, Berkshire Hathaway, Alibaba, Visa, JP Morgan. And just so we don't have the same thing, we're gonna take out this one and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna add another stock. So we're gonna start over, we're gonna skip over one of the Googles, go with Facebook, and then we'll add Johnson and Johnson and now we have 10. And so you see we have 10 there and you can change the allocation of each individual stock if you want or you can have it where any money that you put in, it will automatically put 10% of it into each of these companies. Or rather, it will try to put the allocation back to 10%. So let's say, you know, this month, for whatever reason, Microsoft had a great month, and now the allocation of Microsoft is at 15%, just based off of its gains. And let's say Johnson & Johnson loses 5%. Or let's say they only lose, they gain 6%, whatever the case may be. What M1 Finance will do is try to bring the allocation back to whatever you set for the initial allocation. So it's gonna to try to bring it back to 10% and bring this back down to 10%. So it's not gonna sell anything, but whenever you deposit money the next time, it's not gonna add more money to Microsoft. It's gonna add more money to Johnson & Johnson and then whatever additional funds that you have left over, it will be evenly spread out so that the total allocation for all of your stocks is still at 10%. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now you'll have a description you can create. We'll just say top 10 market cap. 
and you can name it whatever you want. And we'll say top 10 stocks based on market tap. And then we can save that. And now this will be in your list of pies and you can always get to that from the research tab. So usually when you open the app, you'll start on the invest tab and it'll show you any pie that you've already created for your account. Um, if you hit the menu button at the top left when you're on the invest tab, it will show you all of the accounts that you have open with M1 Finance. And you can also check your portfolio, which is the page that it will normally take you to. You can check the activity. So any purchases, any deposits that you have made. As you can see, because I switched from a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA back in April, the first deposit for this Roth IRA actually started in May because I do it on the first of every month. And then you can also see any dividends that were paid. Uh, here's a 16 cents a dividend from the Vanguard total bond market. And then in June had another $50 deposit and you can see the individual buys to try to get the portfolio back to the allocation that you selected based on the percentages you selected. And throughout the time you can see that dividends were paid by the Vanguard total bond market, Vanguard total stock market, uh, Vanguard total international stock market, and a Vanguard S&P 500 fund. And so you can see that activity there. You can see your individual holdings, how much they have gained over the time that you've held this specific portfolio. You can also see the funding history. So if you have an IRA, you can use this for tax purposes. So you'll see that, you know, I've made $300 deposit into the Roth IRA and you'll need to report that to the IRS when you do your taxes. And you can see your bank connection, the bank that you use to connect with M1 Finance. And another tab you wanna check out is the transfers tab. So if you have multiple accounts, or even if you don't, you can see, or you can change the activity that you create. So if you go to the transfers tab, you can see that I have scheduled deposits for my old IRA that I'm gonna start back up. I have a $10 weekly deposit uh, for the Roth IRA that I use as the example for the AJ Mobile Money Nation. I have a $50 monthly deposit on the first of every month. And also for just my regular brokerage account, I also have $50 per month going to that. And that's a that's a portfolio that I actually pick individual stocks. So if you do want to follow along with the Roth IRA that I created specifically for the AJ Mobile Money Nation, started off with $500 because that's the minimum deposit to create an IRA within M1 Finance. And then I set an automatic deposit of $50 a month. And as long as you have at least $10 in your account, it will continuously buy. So you can set it as low as $10 as far as your weekly or your monthly deposits if you wanted to make that automatic purchase every time you make your deposit. And as you can see here, if I were to, you know, try to add more money, let's go to the invest tab and then go to bank connection. If I wanted to make a deposit, I would have to make it at least $10. That's the minimum amount. And also, as you can see from the activity, you see that dividends are being paid. Let's say throughout the month of October, after I've already made a deposit, if I happen to gain over $10 just from the dividends of the holdings that I have, it will then make a, the another purchase of $10 into the pie that I created. So you just have to have a minimum and you can set that up with your transfers. Now with the auto deposits, you can actually change your auto invest strategy so that if you want it to be a higher amount, you can choose auto invest my cash over a set amount. So if instead of $10, which is the minimum that you will need to do an auto invest, you can set it to $100 if you want to hold more cash. I have mine set to auto invest all of my cash. And with that setting, your balance has to be at least $10. As you can see here, it's only $1.53. But once it gets over $10, which it always is at the beginning of the month because I add $50 every month, then it will automatically make that purchase on the first of every month or the next business day if the first happens to be a weekend or a holiday. And you can also choose to not auto invest your cash. I personally like to do the auto invest because that way every month when I make that automatic deposit, I don't have to then go into the M1 finance and then select 
invest or select buy in order for my money to start working. It's automatically working every month. So if you're interested in opening an M1 finance account, use the link in my description as well as in the comments below. It's a really simple investment app to use. It's free to trade and you can set it and forget it if you choose. It's a very simple way to get started investing in the market or to simplify your investment process if you're already a more seasoned long-term investor. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or if you would like more videos just like this for other platforms, let me know in the comments below. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you really like this video and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I post new videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.